Welcome back GHMC Zoomers. So this tutorial is for anyone who will be hosting meetings and be responsible for managing the admin controls. So for instance, muting everybody during the appropriate times and unmuting them when we're ready to open up the forum. So this is gonna go through some of the advanced controls as far as how to manage a meeting so that we have a fluid conversation and very targeted interaction. So first off here, we're already in Zoom. This is a screenshot from the GHMC message um, meeting. So um, what we see here is the general look. Now this is from a computer. Meeting controls can be a little difficult on a mobile device, so I strongly recommend if you're going to be hosting the meeting and responsible for keeping up with everything, definitely try to do it from a computer so that you get the larger screen view. So we have everybody who's connected here. If you click on this little blue arrow, um, you can scroll to the right and see additional participants. You can click on this uh, little grid here to see the Brady Bunch style where everybody kind of has the same um, size image. Um, but the first thing that I really want to talk about is if you're hosting a meeting, think beforehand, is this something that we might want to record and put on YouTube? So the plan with YouTube is to have an archive of sermons, messages, Bible studies, things that um, anybody either within our church may want to go back and visit or people abroad who are not physically here in our church may receive something from that message. So if it's if it's a forum or a study like that, I strongly encourage you to first click the record button. It's gonna to record to the cloud, so it's not gonna affect your, your computer or your hard drive. It will record to the cloud, and we'll be able to go download it from there later and post it onto YouTube um, if that's something that we wanna do. So it doesn't Im immediately go to YouTube. Um, so if something goes wrong, you can absolutely tell me and we'll take it back down. But um, it does give us the ability to really increase our repository of messages and encouragement and things like that. But you want to do that right off the bat. Um, you can start recording at any time. Maybe if you want to do some introductions or, or chatter first, that's fine. And then click record before you get into your message. That's acceptable. Um, but you will have to record it from here for it to be available after the call. So... One of the things I want to talk about is hosting. So for GHMC, we do have one hosting login. And so the person who schedules the meeting is ultimately the host will have the credentials to do that. Now that login is a paid login. So it does not have a time restriction. You can have up to 100 participants with our account. Um, and you can talk up to 12 or 24 hours, whatever it is. Um, so there's no time limit. If you have a free account, this can still help you on how to manage that, but know that a free account has a 40 minute limit. So after 40 minutes, everybody gets kicked out. Either way you go, what you can do being the first host is you can assign a co-host. Um, and this should pass some of the permissions to them to help manage the credentials as far as muting other people, etc. You actually, I believe, pass as a host too. So what you would do is you would find the person that you want to pass the host to, you would right click on them, you're gonna see some options. One of them is make co-host. And so you can pass permissions that way. I strongly encourage if you're having a meeting and you're giving most of the message, have somebody else in charge of muting and unmuting everybody's mics. Just makes it a little bit easier that way. So one of the most important parts of using Zoom in a platform like this where there's a message is controlling the background noise. So if you get 30 people on, you can hear the background noise in their house, whether that's just air noise, a fan, uh, kids, animals, it's very loud and distracting. So we encourage everybody, the etiquette is to mute yourself um, when you're not speaking, but not everybody remembers to do that. So the admin has the ability to mute people um, or unmute them as well. And you can control their camera. So you can't turn on somebody's camera if they haven't authorized their camera to be turned on. But if you do get somebody join and there's something questionable about their, ca their camera view, you can turn their camera off. And what that'll do is prevent them from showing themselves on here. So the way that we manage this is first off, the bottom left corner is 
those are your controls. So that mutes you and turns your camera off and on. And that's true for every individual on the call. Now, if you mute everybody and you're the host, it's not gonna mute you. You may have to do this separately. Now, the catch there is if you mute everybody on the call, you may end up muting the presenter as well. So over here in this top section, and you may have to click on manage participants to get this to pop up like this, you can see everybody on the call. So you could click on these microphones individually to mute and unmute individuals. Um, if you wanted to turn somebody's camera off, you can do the same thing using the camera icon. What is easier, especially if you have a large group of participants, is when you're ready to mute everybody, there's a button for mute all, and then there's a button for unmute. So if let's say for instance, we're having fellowship and chit chat at the very beginning, and then we get serious, we're ready to go into the message. What we would do is mute all and then unmute the presenter. So you'd have to come up here to Tony, for instance, and unmute him. And so he would do a speaking and then when he opened it back up to, to input, then you would come down here and unmute all. And so what that would do is unmute everybody so that they can participate. Pretty easy controls. So something else you can do is share your screen. So right now, in the basic view, whoever's speaking is going to show up large on this. Now, if they don't have their camera on, it'll just turn up black with their name. If they have their camera on, you'll see a large view of them. What you can do is share your screen. So for instance, if, if you're giving a Bible study, you could open up the scripture on your screen and you could share your screen so that everybody's seeing that scripture um, all at the same time. It's a pretty cool tool. You can then select to end sharing at any given time. So you may want to share your screen for a short period of time and then go back to this video. Absolutely doable. And that's it. That's the basics of uh, controlling for an admin. If you have questions, I'd be more than willing to, to work with you one on one. I do encourage those of you that will be hosting or responsible for hosting while somebody else presents, please sign up for your free Zoom account, get the credentials from this one, and just create little fake meetings that are just you, maybe you and your cell phone or you and one other person, and practice these controls ahead of time so that you're prepared, you're ready to go. And as always, I'm more than happy to help you. Thank you and God bless.